This is the fifth video of the um, 3.2 unit about exchange rates. And in this video, I'm going to explain and discuss managed exchange rate systems. I'm going to explain how a managed exchange rate system operates with reference to the fact that it, there is periodic government intervention to influence the value of the exchange rate. And I'm going to examine the possible consequences of overvalued and undervalued currencies. So let's get started. So first, what is a managed exchange rate system? Basically, a managed exchange rate system involves periodic, so it's not always, it's periodic, government intervention to influence the value of the currency. The government interferes periodically when the value of the currency appreciates too much or depreciates too much. The government wants to keep the exchange rate within a specific range. If the currency appreciates too much, the government could respond by increasing supply of its currency on the foreign exchange market, or maybe attempting to decrease demand for its currency. How? Well, there are several options. The government could sell more of its currency on the foreign exchange market, which increases the supply of the currency and causes it to depreciate, or the government could lower interest rates, and thus it would lower foreign saving and investment in the country, which decreases the demand for its currency. So the government can either manipulate the supply of its currency on the foreign exchange market or manipulate interest rates to achieve that goal. Similarly, if the value of the currency depreciates too much, the government would respond by either decreasing supply of its currency or attempting to increase the demand for it, or both. How? Well, the government could come into the foreign exchange market and buy more of its currency on the foreign exchange market. This will decrease supply and also increase the demand for its currency, which causes its value to rise again. The government could also respond by raising interest rates and thus attracting more foreign saving and investment into the country. This will increase the demand for its currency. So how does this work in practice? Well, basically, the government decides on a maximum value for its currency. So here, the maximum value is one euro um, cannot go beyond 0.9 US dollars and a minimum value. Here in this example, the minimum value is 0.7 US dollars. So um, right now in this example, we begin at 0.8. Now, as long as the government, so the government would allow the currency to appreciate or depreciate as long as it stays within that range that it set. If um, something happens that causes the currency to appreciate beyond the maximum value, the government would interfere by increasing supply of the euro or trying to decrease the demand for the euro and thus bringing it back within the range. What if the value of the currency depreciates too much beyond the minimum value? The government would interfere by trying to decrease the supply of the euro, so buying back euros from the market, or trying to increase the demand for the euro, maybe by raising interest rates to attract foreign investors. Um, in this example, we're looking at the market for the euro in terms of the US dollars, and here we have the quantity of the euro. So again, the government sets a range and will allow the currency to float within that range, but once the value of the currency goes beyond that range, either higher than the maximum value or lower than the minimum value, the government will interfere by manipulating demand and or supply for its currency.